Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today's episode is dedicated to this wonderful material, uh, the modeling resin by GC, and it comes in a composite modeling kit. And once we open it, we see that the kit provides several things. First, the modeling liquid itself. A copious amount of pads. Five round head brushes. And also five wide brushes. And also two handles for your brushes. But what's really nice about these is what you can actually do with them. As you see, I've already prepared my pincer here. It's a Proclinic Standard 13 centimeters curved plier. And what I'm going to use it for is turn this beautiful straight round brush into an instrument that can be used by any practitioner on the lateral teeth as well. Because if you just put this on your handle, you're not going to have a very good access to uh, uh, Oculus or Distal 2.7, for example. But if you use your plier and you pinch the round brush next to its, uh, to its bristles and then you angle it in a 45 degree angle, you're going to have plenty of access for your occlusal cavities on the lateral teeth. Should the uh, position of your cavity require it, you can go a bit further and make another dent in your round brush and now you have a 90 degree angle that will pretty much allow you to work in any position. The round brush is the one that I prefer to use for the uh, side teeth, for molars, and I only use the wide, wide tipped brush for the anterior teeth. This, these two, along with the resin, uh, should uh, be present in most offices where composites are made because they'll allow you to uh, manipulate your composites without the use of the metal instruments. And this is going to be a major plus for your practice. How are you going to use it? Quite easily. You're going to dispose one droplet of the modeling resin onto the working surface and you're going to dip your bristles in it. Now, it's very important that you don't use the brush which is loaded with that amount of uh, modeling liquid. It's going to uh, ruin your composite and the composite is not going to hold its shine. What you want to do is use some tissue paper but don't just brush. Make sure that you put it in, you pinch and then you take out the excess and now it should be ready to use. It's the same for the wide head brush just make sure that after you dip it in the modeling resin you don't do this it's not going to remove enough excess material please put it in your tissue paper fold it put some pressure on it and this should remove the excess thank you very much and see you soon